Mm, hi guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. So, I am at the Jane Hotel, and I wanted to give you a tour of the hotel as I step out. I want to go out and uh, walk along the High Line for a little while. And our hotel, the hotel, our, I'm by myself, the hotel is uh, really within a couple blocks from the beginning or technically the end of the uh, High Line. So um, I'll give you a tour of the room. Uh, the room is called a single cabin with a shared room. Uh, I did take a nap on top of the coverlet and I did put the bathrobe on once to go use the restroom. So it's a little opened up. Um, I've got a couple things moved uh, on the shelves, but you're gonna see in a moment, it's hard to really get this room too messy. <laughs> it's pretty small. So my room cost $98. I got it on um, the app that we use as flight attendants to get our discounts. Uh, so I paid $98. It's probably a small discount off the price right now. Um, but, so uh, let's give you a tour. So, no joke. That's the TV. <laughs> the window. Counter space. Clock radio. The bed. Yes, that's the bed. It's a it's smaller than a twin. This is the key. Uh, and this is like a, a copper or bronze. I, I mean, it's probably bronze or brass. Um, you put it in this little hole to have electricity. And when you leave, you still have electricity for a few minutes, but uh, it will turn off. Everything will turn off. So you have to carry this thing. It's, it's quite a deal in your pocket. Uh, bathroom mirror and uh and my relatively flat stomach i have not been this thin in years there's the phone so yeah literally the room is i think seven feet let's step out of here i'm gonna grab my water the room is about seven feet long by about i don't know four and a half five feet yeah it's that small all right charming little hallway let me pan around. There's the end. And if you've been on a cruise ship, it does have a cruise ship feel. So maybe that's why they call them cabins. Let's walk. I'll show you the bathroom. Then we'll go through the lobby and then outside. All right. This is less than charming, but um, the shared bath. There's toilets in there. Oh, and someone's in there now. But inside there is... Um, hey. Hey. A uh, shower, a toilet, and a um, sink. Let's go downstairs rather than take the elevator. All right. So I've stayed at the Jane Hotel probably six times now, seven times over the years, and I've always enjoyed it. I don't know why, but I have a thing for wallpaper. Isn't that pretty? Um, I've stayed here maybe six or seven times. Uh, mezzanine, not an exit. Okay, all right, I should have taken the elevator. Um, the hotel is just charming. It's tiny, and I hope, but I hope some of that charm kind of comes across. Um, and the staff at the front desk is always really, really nice. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Look. It's a peacock up there. And... Oh good, no one's at the front desk. Oh. I wanted to say thank you again for the room. Oh, no I passed out like two seconds after I got in that room. Thank you. No I'm just showing my, my friends how cool this place is. It's the Jane Hotel. Why wouldn't I enjoy it? Excellent. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yeah, the staff is always so nice here. Um, cool restaurant. I mate. I mate in, in there tonight. And uh, to get an idea of the location. Oh, all right. So it's better than it was. It was. It was pretty miserable out here. Um, there is a cross walk over there somewhere 
Uh, but that, right along there, is the Hudson River. And this is West Street and Jane Street. Cobblestone. Look, this is the, the hotel. Hi. <laughs> the Jane Hotel. I love it. I really do love it here. And uh, when you leave, we'll walk down. We'll walk down the block together for a bit. If you're in the mood to sh to uh, walk with me, let me get out of the sun so you can probably see me. Because that's so important that you see me, right? So, uh, when you uh, leave the Jane Hotel, you're smack dab in the middle of really New York. Um, it doesn't feel like you're on the fringe of anything. Uh, although, if you lived here, you'd be all on top of each other. I mean, you'd have to be comfortable with people watching you. Uh, if I continue filming this while we're on the High Line, um, Maybe I'll do a separate little short video of the High Line. But, uh, you know, all of the apartments, all the condos on the High Line look out onto the High Line and vice versa. So, you know, if you're hanging out at home, you're going to be, you know, on, on view on, from uh, the uh, passerby. So, Jane Street, and this is Washington Street. Little park. We'll walk through the park and I'm gonna walk with you guys down to the High Line maybe we'll walk up in there together and this part of the city is just chock full of little parks little seating areas it's a lot of families schools Horatio Street, that's the street. I would love to live on Horatio Street. There's a condo, there's a condo for sale. I can't even imagine the price. But, no, I don't remember the name of the district that this is. Um, it's not the meatpacking district, but it kind of looks like it in places. All right. So, Goals for tonight. Goals for tonight. I'm going to uh, walk along the High Line for a few minutes, for a while, and then uh, find a coffee because I'm still groggy from my nap. And then I'm going to uh, probably take another little disco nap <laughs> and then uh, head out to uh, my favorite bar in New York. And it's not to drink, because I don't, but just to uh, see people, be seen, you know. Here we are. Uh, and that's on the 28th Street. So I'll, I might walk or I might cab, but this is the base of the High Line. Now, if you didn't know where the High Line, there's always art for sale and stuff like that down here. Uh, if you didn't know what the High Line is, it used to be an elevated train track that ran through this part of the city. And rather than tear it down, I guess, they, uh, they kept the structure. As you can see, this is the structure of the train track. And you'll see that upstairs, too. They kept the structure and built a park on it. And it's been wildly successful. And you'll see why in a sec. Hey, watch this. You know, keep, keep, uh, keep in mind, as you see this park, it's on a raised, elevated train track. Look at this. It's like paradise. There's the Hudson River. <sighs> now, I was here the first season they opened this. And it looked, it looked like anybody's garden in April, <laughs> you know, kind of sparse. Nothing had really filled in, but it's really maturing. I mean, look at these birch trees. It looks like a mature 
side yard of any uh, any house. Oh look, there's some of the tracks. It's just great. And now see the people. It's not so busy, I think, because it's so hot. But there are times when you're here, it feels like you're in the line at the grocery store. <laughs> it's just not moving. Um, oops. And I'm not sure if you remember me saying, but I lack patience when outside the aircraft. Look how pretty. There's New Jersey over there. These fire, fire plants. I don't know what that is. It's an art installation. Ongoing work for dreamers and social justice. Oh, I should, in case you can want to take a moment to read that. There you go. Brass monkey. Now, see, I'm not sure if you can see inside there, but those are, uh, I think those are office. No, those are people's houses, I think. Yeah, those are people's homes. I thought they were offices. They might be. But uh, all through here is uh, just where people live. And more construction going up now. All right. I'll film for another minute or two, but I can't imagine you're terribly excited about this walk with me. <laughs> Although you guys do seem to really enjoy the strangest parts of my videos. We'll walk a few more minutes together. Let me see, is there anything I would say about this trip and being a flight attendant? Mm, well, yeah, uh, this is, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can't even talk. This is one more example of uh, what I did in San Francisco. So if you remember the video where I went to San Francisco and I was going to get on the ferry but then decided, oh no, I won't because I don't know where it goes, I don't know how much it costs, and uh, I hesitated. There's a little view of the city here. I hesitated because I was afraid of the unknown. Now, sort of the same situation here. I could easily get to uh, New York quite easily, uh, free, flying in my own airline. But getting back during, just before 4th of July, wasn't gonna be very easy. And it seemed none of the, oh, I love this. A little reminder of a gay pride month from gay clubs and leather bars popping up in its shadow in the 80s and 90s. The park's founding by two gay men in 1999 to strong LGBT representation among our staff. The high line is gay and proud. Oh, that's fantastic. Huh, two gay guys started this. <laughs> gay men taking something abandoned and turning it to something fabulous? What? Um, look at that. It's cool. All right, so, uh, like I was saying, I was anxious about this trip and I almost went back to uh, Vegas or flew to Boston because getting out of Manhattan uh, on the second seemed to be a little awkward and uh, it was going to require me taking a trip I don't want to take, which is a multiple leg trip to get home. But uh, I, I decided why not go on the little adventure? So I'm here having a great time uh, and, uh, and seeing the High Line as a much more mature experience than it used to be because uh, it did look like some sort of side yard. But I'm gonna uh, give it one more peek. I see a coffee shop. I'm gonna 
go grab myself a coffee, hang out amongst this beauty and cool people, and, oh, it looks like there's more than just coffee. Ugh. Oh, gee. Huh. A very New York experience, right? All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, safe. Oops, sorry. <laughs>